Do you remember this from 1971? I'd like to buy the world a home and furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honey bees and so white turtle doves. And approximately 25 years later, this comes out. Yes, this is the BASF High Performance 2 Coca Cola Special Edition. Bassif Type 2. It's a really nice looking cassette if you're into collecting stuff for other companies. There we go. Let's have a look at it. It's uh, nice and bright on the cover, so it, you know, it does do its, it does what it wants to do for Coca-Cola, certainly there, and it doesn't tell us an awful lot on there other than the fact that it is a BASF and uh, not an MTEC. I believe it's 96, that's what it said on the database that I looked at, but uh, it could be a tad earlier. However, let's have a look at this properly. So that's that side. And we've had a quick scroll round. And it's basically, well, you've got the Coca-Cola label. And it's clear, you know, you're actually looking through into the tape. This is a nice close up. And you can see there, it's not got a lot on it, but it's brightly colored. It does quite well show off the bass of name. And right, we'll go for this pull. I've got used to these now don't like these they're not good they don't do much in the way of tearing the thing off and the the actual film is is ever so slightly stuck it's sort of slightly greasy feeling anyway got that off there a bit and oh yeah, let's see no no yep yeah, hang on i'm not going to grow my nails longer because they'll get caught in everything else then there we go right that's upside down and that's it right okay we haven't got the ribs. It's very much like the case on the previous one I did, which was the CSII. And, um, oh, they're nice. I like those. The actual cassette is very bright. And the J card. Ah, we have the same cutaway shape. So it actually, that sort of proves really, it's of a similar era. And we've got the cutaway there that holds it into the slightly slimmer case than normal. Um, the plastic on the case is okay. Now this shell is a good shell. However, it's got a very small hole there, which is obviously, the, if you look at it, it's actually the shape of a... Go for a close-up. Can you see what it looks like? It looks like a Coke bottle. Not that way. Not that way. But on its side, it would be the shape of a Coke bottle. Anyway, it's a Type 2 cassette. It hasn't got the markings for the others. And let's have a look at the tape colour in a minute. Um, yes, got a very long leader on it. This is not a head cleaning leader. This is just a, an opaque leader. And um, this is a very long leader. Very, very long leader. Oh, here we go. Right. Now the tape, again, my camera does quite well. That is the colour of the tape. It is a very dark tape. Now I'm hoping that means it's better than the last Type 2 I tried. And um, we'll, well, we'll have to see. I, again, haven't listened to what's on here. I've done the recordings, but I haven't actually put them into my ear rolls yet. So I will be hearing it near enough the same time as you do, or at least the reaction will be as I hear it. So I'll be doing the sound test at the end, and I'll also be playing a bit of music that was recorded on this tape, and you can hear the A-B comparison with the original and the recording. I'm excited to get stuck into this, so let's get on with it. This is the buff and the ting trace. Look how beautiful that looks. Left and right channel match. It's quite important that the left and right symmetry is good on these things. And let's see if this is a noisy tape or not. The silence is minus 81 and a half, which is not quite as good as the last one I did, but it's pretty damn good. However, it's much more peaky. It looks more furry. I'll bring in the Bassif CSII, just so you see the difference there. And I think it's interesting the way these tapes differ. Anyway, that's a good figure. Looking at the full trace again, you can see it's very respectable. The 0 dB frequency sweep is showing a bit of a shape, but they're both the same on both channels. I'm getting a little bit excited now. Let's have a look at the charts properly. Here we go. The 0 dB ones are like this. This one's slightly different. It hasn't got the hump that the previous ones had. That means the response is more regular. And here is the pink noise, which is much better looking. The minus 20 white noise is looking very respectable. 
and the minus 20 pink noise is looking really, really very good. Look at the results so far, this should be a good tape. The 1 kilohertz and 3 kilohertz have got only a small peak on the, on the harmonic, so that means you can drive it pretty hard. At the minus 20 dB, it is extremely clean. Look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous. Well, I've just had a look at the pictures and I think you'll be amazed. This is the 0 dB Coca-Cola and this is the 0 dB Mtech. And this is the minus 20 dB Coca-Cola and this is the minus 20 dB Mtech. Look at the differences. Essentially, they've smoothed it off a bit and you've just lost a little bit of the high performance at 0 dB. But at minus 20, it's much the same. So I am expecting good things from this. And let's get on with Patrick Patrickos now. To be followed by a bit of A, B comparison music and digital file. This should be good. Where We Want to Go by Patrick Patrickos. Dynamic and clean. Okay, now we're going to follow that with the minus 20 dB version. And then following that, there's going to be some A-B comparison between a tape and the original file that the tape was recorded from. Don't miss it. Where We Want to Go by Patrick Patrickos. Dynamic and clean. Now we have a playback from the tape machine and from the original digital file and I'll show you which is which and you can listen and see if you can tell the difference or what the differences are. This is Spy versus Spy from the YouTube library. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Well, I think it could be said that this tape lives up to its expectations and it does a very good job. Anyway, that's it for the Coca-Cola Type 2 High Performance Tape. And if you got anything out of this video, please like, subscribe and do all that sort of good things. And I'll try and catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Cheerio. Bye bye.